Eisenhower has seemed perfectly healthy in these films made in 1955, just before his sudden heart attack. It was November 1955. President Dwight D. Eisenhower was recovering from a mild heart attack. That's Domino's Ain't That a Shame was the top song on the radio. Emmett Till, 14, was kidnapped and killed allegedly for wolf whistling at the wife of accused Roy Bryan. And the world was just finding out about the murder of 14-year-old Emmett Till. For a number of years, the Negro passengers on the city bus lines of Montgomery... Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., he was planning the Alabama bus boycott. That's when Addie and Earnhardt Miller Sr. welcomed their baby boy, Earnhardt Jr., into the world. He was born in Windsor, North Carolina, November 15th, 1955. The Millers, with their five girls and two boys, were one of 400 families in the small rural town. You made me cry when you said And as fast as Pat Boone stole Fat's hit son, Earnhardt Jr. was on a bus, a train, and everything in between but a plane, hightailing it out of small town, North Carolina. He headed to the Lone Star State, and after a tiny inflation of his age, and carrying a fifth grade education, Miller made it. He ended up in Austin by way of the Gary Job Corps. He accredits the Job Corps with teaching him structure, discipline, life, and social skills. Shortly after he married and had two sons, Earnhardt Jerome and Ira Liddell with their mother Beatrice McDonald. Then 17 years later, he married Harold Dead Handy, and as much as he adored his wife, children, and stepchildren, his community loved him more. And that, well, that porch. That dang porch that served as a stage, a counseling couch, a meet and greet, a get ready to eat catfish, a juke joint, a bring your own black gin spot, a spot that you best be wearing your tough skin, Miller's Porch. Yes, everybody. Everybody who visited Miller's Porch got that courtesy warning that if you can't hang with the big boys, then stay off Miller's Porch. Miller was direct, clear, genuine, authentic, but most of all, he was known for his wisdom. Wisdom that he freely and lovingly shared. This thing gonna be all right. It was often tough love, seasoned at times with humor, that provided a smile and ground tumbling, contagious laughter. We ran out of crack out of the bread. We broke crackle. <laughs> Miller leaves to mourn his transition. His son, Ira Liddell Miller, daughter, Erica Jennings, stepsons, Anthony Martin, John Martin, grandsons, Edric, Jerome McDonald, Ira Liddell Miller Jr., Khalil M. Johnson, and siblings, all of North Carolina. Katie Roundtree, Isabella Gillum, Louise Miller, Hattie Kent, and Frankie Peterson. His godson, Eugene Creighton, special sisters, Lynette Hill and Annette Hill. And of course, his East Austin family, who joined him on Miller's porch often from sunrise to sunset. But most of all, he'll be missed by the woman of his dreams whose catfish he couldn't resist, and oh, her sweet, loving voice. Earnhardt Miller Jr. Rest in perfect peace. And mercy, it took me in, took my feet out of the miry clay, and placed them on, on a rock to stay. Oh, what a relief it was. 